Welcome to the Hour of Feeding on Jesus International. Our reading Bible verse for today is taken from the Gospel according to St. John, John chapter 21, verse 20, and the word reads, Then Peter, turning around, saw the disciple whom Jesus loved following, who also had leaned on his breast at the supper, and said, Lord, who is the one who betrays you? And the theme for reflection today is personalize God's favor in your life. Amen. Beloved, I used to think that among Jesus' 12 disciples, John was the Lord's favorite disciple and the one who was the closest to him because the Bible calls John the disciple whom Jesus loved. I was wondering why John had a special favor with Jesus and always wondered what made him so special that he stood apart from the other disciples. Don't you want to be known as the disciple whom Jesus loves? Well, I do. Surprisingly, the secret of John's favor being the disciple whom Jesus loved is actually found only in John's own book. Check it out yourself. You will not find this phrase being used in the Gospel of Matthew, Mark, and Luke. It's found only in the Gospel of John. It is a phrase that John used to describe himself. Now, what was John doing? John was practicing and personalizing the love that Jesus had for him. We are all God's favorites, but John knew the secret of assessing Jesus unmerited favor for himself. He was being selfish to claim the grace of God to himself. It is your prerogative to see yourself as a disciple whom Jesus loves and to call yourself that. The secret of John's favor lay in his personal, personalization of God's love. Literally, you will also step into a new dimension of experiencing God's unmerited favor in your lives when you boast in his love for you. Grab this revelation and reign with it. You can customize the wallpaper of your mobile phones to say the disciple whom Jesus loves and also sign off your text messages and emails with the phrase, I am the disciple whom Jesus loves. As you keep reminding yourself that you are the disciple whom Jesus loves, you will begin to grow in the consciousness of the lost love for you. At the same time, you will begin to grow in being fever conscious. Beloved, the world calls such supernatural happenings as luck, but for the believer, for you and I, there is no such thing as luck. There is only the unmerited favor of Jesus. Amen. Stay connected. Remember always that you are the disciple whom Jesus loves. So personalize it, claim it to assess always the grace of God in your life. Amen. Do something unique today. Share this video. Also subscribe to my daily also subscribe to my youtube channel for your daily grace inspiration messages shalom and bye bye